Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel, Finding Peyote. Today I'm going to do a reading for Aquarius for February. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am in Aquarius Sun and Aquarius Venus. Let's see what cards go. So we have the Queen of Cups. So right now you might be feeling like um, you're taking charge of the situation. You're thinking about things. Um, you're maybe even like taking a step back to think about what you want. And the Ace of Wands, correct, there's like an opportunity coming your way, um, you know, for like a new relationship or somebody's coming towards you with um, an offer and you're thinking about it. And the Empress, okay, so, you know, maybe you right now are single, you're not dating anybody, somebody's coming towards you, you're trying to make a decision. You're living in your power right now. Queen of Swords, yeah, it's like about your happiness. Um, these are, you know, all queens. The Empress is the ultimate queen. So, it seems like you either have some options, you're thinking about things, you're wanting, like, your happiness. This is like, you know, whether if you're a guy or a girl doesn't really matter, but the Queen of Swords is, um, you know, somebody who's looking... For their happiness it's using their intuition perhaps even like a message is coming yeah the page of swords so again still like um an air sign kind of quality but maybe somebody is checking you out somebody's watching you somebody's like um spying on you online Ace of Pentacles, yeah, it could be like even like a potential employer. Maybe somebody's coming at you, you know, we've got two aces already. Somebody could be coming at you with an offer, but it's an offer, you're deciding what you want to do. You're looking at things closely, you're trying to decide what to do. You understand your worth and you're looking for your happiness. Maybe right now you're just deciding what you want to do for work. Yeah, you have focused on your stability. Um, this could also mean you're kind of like holding back. Maybe somebody's offering you something, but you're kind of holding back. You're thinking about what, what you want. Yeah, and ultimately it's just like about your happiness. It seems, again, like a lot of people are interested in you. Maybe this is work. This kind of seems like it's work. Um... A lot of people are interested in you. You have a lot of choices. And there you are, the star card. So yeah, you are who you are. You're living in your truth. You're living in the age of Aquarius. You're doing you. A lot of people are coming after you um, because they want to work with you. The bottom of the deck is a two of swords, so yeah, you just don't really know what you want to do. Who's coming towards Aquarius? The Emperor, yeah, so it still could be work, or this could be like a new relationship. This could be somebody that's like, um, you know, coming to um, sweep you off your feet. Who's coming towards the players? <laughs> the star. Somebody who sees you as a star, or it's another Aquarius. Or this is just like, uh, who's coming towards you? Yourself. You're doing you.
The star card has come up twice now already. Yeah, this person sees you as the star. This person sees you as a new opportunity and they see you as the sun. This is like everything is coming together. There's literally nothing negative like in any of this stuff. You are deciding what you want to do, but there's somebody here who sees you as the sun, who sees you as the empress, who sees you as the star. Or this could even be you. Yeah, Queen of Swords again. You could be dealing with um, a Libra. I see a Libra or um, either Gemini, Aquarius, or Taurus, or um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or um, yeah, Scorpio, the death card. Somebody wants like a new opportunity. That's you. This doesn't seem like somebody from your past. This seems like somebody who is either in your presence right now or somebody in the future. Let's see advice for Aquarius. What should Aquarius do about this person? King of Cups. Okay, so you started off as the Queen of Cups and now you're at the King of Cups. So you're standing in your, your truth. You're weighing out the pros and cons. You're not being like crazy emotional about it. You're being logical. Advice for Aquarius. Here you are, the Queen of Cups again, the Magician, the Ace of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so maybe this person, you know them already. This person, you know, has a lot of feelings for you. This person feels really emotional about you. This is somebody who maybe you are casually dating. You guys are like friends with benefits. This is somebody who is making a revelation about like not really wanting to be friends with benefits anymore. They are come to like a realization, this ace of swords, that they want more. That they want more than this. So this is just something that you need to know. coming in with a love offer so if there's somebody in your life that you're unsure of this person is sure of you this person is coming towards you this person thinks that you're awesome they want to start something with you they see you as stable they see you as successful they see you as independent they see you as somebody that they can you know see themselves with too you know, um, um, two of cups is at the bottom but I see you as somebody that's the sun what's the outcome what's the outcome here the nine of pentacles so perhaps like either you decide to stay single or you're going to take it slow um, maybe you guys are going to like hang out Maybe they're gonna ask you out. Maybe you guys work together. Maybe they wanna take you out like on a date. They know that like you love nature, you love going out, you love animals, the animals love you. Maybe they might take you out on a date like out, out of nature where you wanna go. Like, like the perfect date. It's the outcome. The king of wands, yeah. Being super powerful. Um, being super like intuitive, having this being like a guided kind of destined relationship. Or that this is like a relationship that um, can withstand, sorry, I feel like I sneeze, withstand the test of time. Because this guy I had seen on some other reading about this is like a salamander, and according to like mythology, sal salamanders cannot be burned in a fire. Which kind of reminded me of like Frozen 2. I don't know if you guys seen Frozen 2, but it's like one of those characters. I think I've only seen it like once or twice, but like one of those little characters like winds up ha like helping them. I think it was like a salamander, but he like keeps bursting into flames. Like that was his power or something like that. So they needed like 
that frozen chick to like cool them off. <laughs> What's the outcome? <laughs> Oh man, being kind of defensive. Okay, so like maybe it's like you, you need to let your guard down a little bit. Maybe, you know, or, or there's something about this person that you're like guarded about. Do you feel defensive? Um, maybe you feel defensive about like making a commitment. Um, maybe, um, yeah, I mean, definitely seems like we're dealing with a Libra here, because in all those other cards, there's Libra. We have Justice here, which is Libra. Oh, how cute. And then the Queen of Wands. So, you know, part of it is like you are tripped and you don't know if you want to stay single or not. You know, you're, you're defensive about that. But um, Justice is here. And, and like a divine like counterpart. Over here, this card kind of found out temperance. Yeah, so chill out. You need to chill out. This is gonna like bring balance. <clears throat> it's gonna bring justice. It's gonna bring balance. Like it's all good. What are you afraid of? You know. Um, that's that. What are you afraid of? What are you curious afraid of? Oh, about being happy. Or you're afraid literally about that Libra. <laughs> Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, why, why would you be afraid? Sorry, that's my dog chewing my bum. What are you afraid of? Judgment. Okay, yeah. So maybe it like either you or this person has been hurt in the past. Seem maybe like you guys both have, you know, gone through some things. Um, and you guys are just like not wanting to have that kind of end result in this one because maybe it's like this maybe you guys have both just like not been in relationships like since since the bad one so now you're like worried like oh you know you don't you don't want it to go bad um what is Aquarius this person going to do? What action are they going to take? Oh, they're going to work on like having a good foundation with you. They want like a new beginning. This is what they're going to do. They want to work hard. They're going to like, you know, plant the seeds in order for like this, this to work. Oh, um, yeah. They're here to come and say that they want to have success with you. They want to come in, but, you know, be that person for you. Mm -hmm. This is the action that they're going to take. That, that your wish fulfillment. They want to come rushing in with this message, but, you know, they don't. They don't want to be the, that person anymore. They don't want to be the person who's just like running around. They're dating people. They see you as like their person. They're starting to. Maybe they're not telling you. You know, they're afraid or you're afraid to tell them how, or you're both afraid to tell each other how you feel. Maybe you guys are friends. Maybe you guys are just kind of like introverted. Maybe. You know, you guys had started something before and, um, you know, somebody said, oh, I just want to be friends, or, like, whatever. And so now you're like, well, I'm not going to do that again. You don't want to get rejected again. But now this other person wants you to pay. <laughs> they want you to reach out. The other person is like, Ugh. but, you know, <coughs> like, what can you do? So this other person wants that power. They've been holding back. That they want to work with you. There's secrets or things that they don't know, but they're rushing in. They want like finally like an equal give and take. They don't want it to be like how it was, you know, in the past.
Oh, well, like stuff is backwards. I don't read reversals. I don't know what all this is gonna tell. Is all backwards. How does Aquarius feel? The world. Okay. You see it as like a cycle, like a cycle. That's how you feel. <laughs> you want happiness. Still, this card just comes out over and over and over again. You want happiness? The tower, this is how you feel. You want happiness. You want happiness with this Libra. You want a tower. You want something to happen. You want your Ten of Cups. You want. Oh, to stand up for yourself. Yeah, that's funny. You want to stand up for yourself. And standing up for yourself is like telling telling them how you feel. But are you going to do it? <laughs> the magician. No, you're going to like wish it. <laughs> you're just like praying and like trying to manifest that and happen. Because you feel out in the cold. Maybe you're the one who told them, like, hey, I like you. And they were like, oh. But now they like you. And now you're like, I'm not doing that again. So, like, they're going to have to bring that tower. Because I'm literally not going to put myself out there. I'm just going to, like, wish it. I'm just going to, like, hope that it happens. Are you guys meant to be together? meant to be together. Yeah. I mean, you guys don't want to miss out on this. And Ten of Wands is like accepting it. Knowing that you have to like put the work in. So like, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys uh, like this reading and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.